Hi, today's lesson is going to be about the Concert of Europe, which was the uh, name that received the International Alliance System uh, established in Europe from 1815 till 1914, from the Congress of Vienna till the outbreak of the First World War. The context was uh, similar in a way to the uh, one of the Congress of Vienna. It uh, happened after Napoleon's defeat and uh, the creation of this system of alliances was uh, one of the ends of the Congress of Vienna. Uh, obviously, uh, this system of alliance uh, was going to be supported by the main European powers which, uh, as we know, were Russia, Austria, Great Britain, and Russia. And in time, it will include France. It will restore France to an important position uh, within the European framework. What were the aims uh, of, the, uh, of this uh, system? Uh, the aims were basically to establish a balance of power in Europe. What is a balance of power? A balance of power means to keep peace and to avoid the, uh, that uh, one uh, country became more powerful than any other. Uh, also, uh, related to this, uh, another of the aims was to preserve the territorial status quo of Europe, which means that uh, to uh, respect the um, pact uh, that the major power had uh, reached, the agreements they had reached in the Congress of Vienna, and also to protect legitimate governments what they consider to be legitimate governments. As we know, the, if uh, this uh, system of alliance was uh, created out of the Congress of Vienna and the Congress of Vienna was a reactionary one, um, obviously what they believed would be the legitimate government was going to be the absolutist uh, government previous to the French Revolution. Uh, its main uh, personality, its main character, was uh, Prince Metternich from Austria. And uh, this uh, system of alliance was going to be the uh, first serious attempt to establish a kind of international society to maintain peace. Some people want to see uh, something similar to the League of Nations of the United Nations in the aim, in the aims of um, uh, Europe of the Congresses. How did it work? Uh, it didn't have a permanent institutions. Uh, or no written rules. Uh, the congresses uh, could be called at the time of a crisis by any member state and uh, they actually um, developed two types of, of alliances. One was going to be the Holy Alliance that integrated Russia, Prussia and Austria. This alliance uh, was going to have the aims of preserve the Catholic principles and uh, conservatism uh, and tradition uh, of Europe. And uh, this um, alliance was uh, going to be an idea of the uh, Russian Tsar. Uh, the rest of the members of the alliance just signed this uh, as they didn't want to uh, appear disrespectful to the um, Tsar. On the other hand, um, Britain didn't sign this alliance as its uh, political situation was this of a liberal uh, monarchy that uh, didn't support traditional 
conservative values, European values. The other um, alliance uh, was the quadruple alliance integrated by Russia, Prussia, Austria and Britain. And this was the one that was going to uh, be useful in order to prevent and avoid uh, conflicts in Europe. Uh, in time, uh, this uh, alliance would include France, would be the quintuple alliance. Uh, the development. Uh, this uh, system of alliances had some successes, for example, on dealing against the liberal revolutions in Spain, um, but it wasn't useful to prevent war uh, between its members during the 19th century. There were different wars uh, related to different conflicts such as the uh, Crimean War or uh, the, um, the Eastern Question, the Franco-Prussian War, etc. Et and uh, traditionally it is considered that this uh, system of alliances it ended in World War One.